Introduction We all know about derivatives now. Today we will learn about integrals. Integrals? What are they? Are they related to derivatives? Yes, integrals are related to derivatives. They are antiderivatives. What you are saying is that if derivative of sin x is cos x, then integral of cos x is sin x. Very good. Yes, that's what I am saying. Let me teach you more about integrals. In this lesson, you will learn the integrals of functions. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Differentiate between integration and differentiation Integrate by substitution Integrate using trigonometric identities Integrate by using partial fraction Integrate by parts Find definite integrals as a limit of sum Find definite integrals by using fundamental theorem of calculus. Find definite integrals by substitution. Integration as an inverse process of differentiation. If the differential coefficient of capital F of X is F of X, that is D by DX of capital F of X is equal to f of x. Then we say that the antiderivative or integral of f of x is capital F of x, written as integral of f with respect to x is capital F of x. This is the notion of integration. This symbol stands for integral of. f of x is the integrand x is the variable of integration and dx denotes the integration with respect to x. For any constant c, d by dx of capital F of x plus c is equal to d by dx of capital F of x plus 0 is equal to f of x. Integral of f with respect to x is capital F of X plus C, where C is an arbitrary constant. This shows that capital F of X and capital F of X plus C are both integrals of the same function F of X. Thus, for different values of C, we obtain different integrals of F of X, that is, the integral of F of X is not definite. By virtue of this property, capital F of X is called the indefinite integral of F of X. Integration as an inverse process of differentiation. Some important integrals are given as below. Integration as an inverse process of differentiation. Some properties of indefinite integrals are 1. If C is any constant and f of x is a function of x, then integral of C into f of x with respect to x is equal to C into integral of f of x with respect to x. 2. The integral of the sum or the difference of two functions is equal to the sum or difference of their integrals. That is, integral of f1x plus minus f2x with respect to x is equal to integral of f1x with respect to x plus minus f2x with respect to x. 3. If integral of f with respect to x is equal to phi x plus c dash, then integral of f1 of ax plus b with respect to x is equal to 1 by a into phi of ax plus b plus c. Example 
find the integral of x raised to the power 5 by 2 plus e raised to the power x with respect to dx. Solution Given integral of x raised to the power 5 by 2 plus e raised to the power x with respect to dx. From the property of integrals, we can write it as integral of x raised to the power 5 by 2 with respect to dx plus integral of e raised to the power x with respect to dx. Now, x raised to the power 5 by 2 plus 1 divided by 5 by 2 plus 1 plus c1 plus e raised to the power x plus c2. 2 by 7 into x raised to the power 7 by 2 plus e raised to the power x plus c where c is equal to c1 plus c2. Integration as an inverse process of differentiation. Comparison between differentiation and integration. In differentiation, the derivative of a function if exists is a unique function, whereas in integration, the integral of a function is not unique. In differentiation, after differentiation of a polynomial P, the result is a polynomial whose degree is 1 less than the degree of P, whereas in integration, after integration of a polynomial P, the result is polynomial whose degree is 1 more than the degree of P. In differentiation, the derivative is used for finding some physical quantities like the velocity of a moving particle when the distance traversed at any time t is known. Whereas in integration, the integral is used in calculating the distance traversed when the velocity at time t is known. Methods of integration There are three methods of integration. They are 1. Integration by substitution 2. Integration using partial fraction 3. Integration by parts In integration by substitution, we change the independent variable to another variable. Integral of some trigonometric identities Example. Evaluate. Integral of 2x plus 3 raised to the power 4 with respect to x. Solution. Step 1. Choose a substitution function u. The substitution function u is equal to 2x plus 3. Step 2. Determine the value of dx. 2x plus 3 is equal to u. Differentiate with respect to x. 2 is equal to du by dx. dx is equal to 1 by 2 du. Step 3. Make the substitution. Integral of 2x plus 3 raised to the power 4 with respect to x is equal to integral of u raised to the power 4 into 1 by 2 with respect to u. Step 4. Integrate resulting integral, integral of u raised to the power 4 into 1 by 2 with respect to u is equal to 1 by 2 into integral of u raised to the power 4 with respect to u is equal to 1 by 2 into u raised to the power 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 plus c is equal to u raised to the power 5 by 10 plus c. Step 5. Return to the initial variable x. u raised to the power 5 by 10 plus c is equal to 2x plus 3 raised to the power 5 by 10 plus c. So, the solution is integral of 2x plus 3 raised to the power 4 with respect to x is equal to 
2x plus 3 raised to the power 5 by 10 plus c. Integration using trigonometric identities. When the integrand is a trigonometric function, we transform the given function into standard integrals or their algebraic sum by using trigonometric formula. Sin square mx is equal to 1 minus cos 2mx by 2. Cos square mx is equal to 1 plus cos 2mx by 2. Sin mx is equal to 2 sin mx by 2 cos mx by 2. Sin cube mx is equal to 3 sin mx minus sin 3 mx by 4. Cos cube mx is equal to 3 cos mx plus cos 3 mx by 4. Tan square mx is equal to sec square mx minus 1. Cot square mx is equal to cosec square mx minus 1. 2 cos a cos b is equal to cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. 2 sin a cos b is equal to sin a plus b plus sin a minus b. 2 sin a sin b is equal to cos a minus b minus cos a plus b. Example. Evaluate. Integral of cos square of 3x minus 5 with respect to dx. Solution. Given. Integral of cos square of 3x minus 5 with respect to dx by using the formula cos square mx is equal to 1 plus cos 2 mx by 2. We get integral of 1 plus cos 2 into 3x minus 5 divided by 2 with respect to dx is equal to 1 by 2 into integral of 1 plus cos 6x minus 10 with respect to dx is equal to 1 by 2 into x plus 1 by 6 into sin 6x minus 10 plus c, where c is an arbitrary constant. Integrals of some particular functions. Let us now learn about some special integrals are given below. Integrals of some particular functions. Integrals of the type. Integral of 1 upon ax square plus bx plus c with respect to dx and integral of 1 upon square root of ax square plus bx plus c with respect to dx. Working rule. Step 1. Make the coefficient of x square unity by taking the coefficient of x square outside the quadratic to get the form a into x square plus b by a into x plus c by a. Step 2. Complete the square in terms containing x square and x by adding and subtracting the square of half the coefficient of x to get the form a into x plus b by 2a square plus c by a minus b square by 4a square. Step 3. The integrand is converted to one of the special integrals. Step 4. Integrate the function. Integrals of the type. Integral of px plus q upon ax square plus bx plus c with respect to dx and integral of px plus q upon square root of ax square plus bx plus c with respect to dx. Working rule. Put px plus q is equal to lambda into 2ax plus b plus mu. That means px plus q is equal to lambda into derivative of quadratic plus mu. Comparing the coefficient of x and constant term on both sides, we get 
lambda is equal to p by 2a mu is equal to q minus bp by 2a after putting the values the integral is converted into special integral example 1 evaluate integral of 1 upon 1 minus 9x square with respect to dx solution given integral of 1 upon 1 minus 9x square with respect to dx it can be written as 1 by 9 into integral of 1 upon x square minus 2 by 3 x square with respect to dx by applying the formula stated below we get 1 by 9 into 1 upon 2 into 2 by 3 into log mode of x minus 2 by 3 upon x plus 2 by 3 plus c 1 by 12 into log mode of 3x minus 2 upon 3x plus 2 plus c where c is an arbitrary constant example 2 evaluate Integral of 1 upon x square plus 3x plus 3 with respect to dx. Solution. Given. Integral of 1 upon x square plus 3x plus 3 with respect to dx. Firstly, complete the square in terms containing x square and x by adding and subtracting the 3 by 2 square we get. Integral of 1 upon x plus 3 by 2 square minus 9 by 4 plus 3 is equal to integral of 1 upon x plus 3 by 2 square plus root 3 by 2 square. By applying the formula stated below, we get 1 upon root 3 by 2 tan inverse x plus 3 by 2 upon root 3 by 2 plus c. 2 by root 3 tan inverse 2x plus 3 by root 3 plus c, where c is an arbitrary constant. Example 3. Evaluate. Integral of 6x plus 5 upon square root 6 plus x minus 2x square with respect to x. Solution. Let i is equal to integral of 6x plus 5 upon square root 6 plus x minus 2x square with respect to x. Let 6x plus 5 is equal to a times into 1 minus 4x plus b. Equating coefficient of x, 6 is equal to minus 4a. Therefore, a is equal to minus 3 by 2. Equating constant terms, 5 is equal to a plus b. Therefore, b is equal to 13 by 2. Therefore, 6x plus 5 is equal to minus 3 by 2 into 1 minus 4x plus 13 by 2. Therefore, i is equal to integral of minus 3 by 2 into 1 minus 4x plus 13 by 2 upon square root 6 plus x minus 2x square with respect to x. This is equal to minus 3 by 2 integral of 1 minus 4x upon square root 6 plus x minus 2x square with respect to x plus 13 by 2 integral of 1 upon square root 6 plus x minus 2x square with respect to x. Name it as 1. Put 6 plus x minus 2x square is equal to t. Then 1 minus 4x into dx is equal to dt. Now integral of 1 minus 4x upon square root 6 plus x minus 2x square with respect to x is equal to integral 1 upon square root t with respect to t is equal to integral t raised to the power minus 1 by 2 with respect to t is equal to t raised to the power 1 by 2 upon 1 by 2 is equal to 2 into square root t is equal to 2 into square root 6 plus x minus 2x square. Also, Integral of 1 upon square root 6 plus x minus 2x square with respect to x is equal to integral of 1 upon square root 2 into 3 plus x by 2 minus x square with respect to x. 
is equal to 1 upon square root 2 into integral of 1 upon square root 49 by 16 minus x square minus x by 2 plus 1 by 16 with respect to x is equal to 1 upon square root 2 into integral of 1 upon square root 7 by 4 square minus x minus 1 by 4 square with respect to x. By applying the formula given below, we get is equal to 1 upon square root 2 sin inverse 4x minus 1 upon 7. From equation 1, i is equal to minus 3 into square root 6 plus x minus 2x square plus 13 by 2 root 2 sin inverse 4x minus 1 by 7 plus c, where c is the arbitrary constant. Integration by partial fractions. Integrals of the type px by qx can be integrated by resolving the integrand into partial fractions provided qx not equals to zero. If the degree of px is less than qx, then the rational function can be integrated using partial fractions. If the degree of px is greater than qx, then we first reduce the degree using long division process and make the form as given below. rx plus fx by qx and then it is integrated using partial fractions. Different forms of the partial fractions. 1. When the denominator contains non-repeated linear factors. Qx is equal to x minus a into x minus b. If rational function is px plus q by x minus a into x minus b, then its partial fraction is a upon x minus a plus b upon x minus b. 2. When the denominator contains repeated as well as non-repeated linear factors. Qx is equal to x minus a square x minus b. If rational function is px square plus qx plus r by x minus a square into x minus b, then its partial fraction is a upon x minus a plus b upon x minus a square plus c upon x minus b. 3. When the denominator contains a non-repeated quadratic factor which cannot be factorized further, qx is equal to x minus a into x square plus bx plus c. If rational function is px square plus qx plus r by x minus a into x square plus bx plus c, then its partial fraction is a upon x minus a plus bx plus c upon x square plus bx plus c. 4. When the denominator contains a repeated quadratic factor which cannot be factorized further, qx is equal to ax square plus bx plus c square. If rational function is px square plus qx plus r by ax square plus bx plus c square, then its partial fraction is ax plus b upon ax square plus bx plus c plus cx plus d upon ax square plus bx plus c whole square. Example. Evaluate. Integral of 5x upon x plus 1 into x square minus 4 with respect to dx. Solution. Let i is equal to integral of 5x upon x plus 1 into x square minus 4 with respect to dx. It can be written as is equal to Integral of 5x upon x plus 1 into x plus 2 into x minus 2 with respect to dx. Let 5x upon x plus 1 into x plus 2 
into x minus 2 is equal to a upon x plus 1 plus b upon x plus 2 plus c upon x minus 2. Multiplying both sides by x plus 1, x plus 2, x minus 2, we get 5x is equal to a into x plus 2 into x minus 2 plus b into x plus 1 into x minus 2 plus c into x plus 1 into x plus 2. After comparing the coefficients of x square and x terms, we get a is equal to 5 by 3, b is equal to minus 5 by 2, c is equal to 5 by 6. Therefore, 5x upon x plus 1 into x plus 2 into x minus 2 is equal to 5 upon 3 into x plus 1 minus 5 upon 2 into x plus 2 plus 5 upon 6 into x minus 2. Therefore, i is equal to integral of 5 upon 3 into x plus 1 minus 5 upon 2 into x plus 2 plus 5 upon 6 into x minus 2 with respect to dx is equal to 5 by 3 log mode of x plus 1 minus 5 by 2 log mode of x plus 2 plus 5 by 6 into log mode of x minus 2 plus c where c is an arbitrary constant. Integration by parts Working rule If u and v are two functions of x, then integral of the product of two functions is equal to first function into integral of the second minus integral of differential of first into integral of the second function. If the two functions are of different type, we can choose the first function as the one whose initials come first in the word I laid. Here, I means inverse trigonometric function. L means logarithmic function. A means algebraic function. T means trigonometric function. E means exponential function. In case both the functions are trigonometric, Take that function as second function whose integral is simpler. If both the functions are algebraic, take that function as the first function whose derivative is simpler. Example Evaluate Integral of x into sec square 2x with respect to dx. Solution Let i is equal to Integral of x into sec square 2x with respect to dx. Applying integration by parts, we get i is equal to x into integral of the sec square 2x minus integral of differential of dx into integral of the sec square 2x. i is equal to x into integral of the sec square 2x minus integral of 1 into integral of the sec square 2x i is equal to x into tan 2x over 2 minus 1 by 2 into integral of tan 2x with respect to x i is equal to x into tan 2x over 2 plus 1 by 4 log mode of cos 2x plus c where c is an arbitrary constant Integration by parts. Integrals of the type. Integral of e raised to the power x into fx plus f dash x with respect to dx is equal to e raised to the power x into fx plus c, where c is an arbitrary constant. Three more standard integrals. Integral of square root a square minus x square dx is equal to x by 2 into square root a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sine inverse x by a plus c. 
integral of square root a square plus x square dx is equal to x by 2 into square root a square plus x square plus a square by 2 log of mode of x plus square root a square plus x square plus c. Integral of square root x square minus a square dx is equal to x by 2 into square root x square minus a square minus a square by 2 log of mode of x plus square root x square minus a square plus c where c is an arbitrary constant. Example Evaluate Integral of square root of 3x square minus 9 with respect to dx. Solution Given Integral of square root of 3x square minus 9 with respect to dx. It can be written as Square root 3 into integral of square root of x square minus 3 with respect to dx. Square root 3 into integral of square root of x square minus square root 3 square with respect to dx. Applying the formula stated below, we get square root 3 into x by 2 into square root x square minus square root 3 square minus square root 3 square by 2 log of mode of x plus square root x square minus square root 3 square plus c. It can be written as square root 3 into x by 2 into square root x square minus 3 minus 3 by log of mode of x plus square root x square minus 3 plus c where c is an arbitrary constant. Definite integrals Let capital F of x be any antiderivative of f of x. Then for any two values of the independent variable x, say a and b, the difference capital F of b minus capital F of a is called the definite integral of f of x from a to b and is denoted by integral of function f of x with lower limit a and upper limit b with respect to dx. Thus, integral of function f of x with lower limit a and upper limit b with respect to dx is equal to f of b minus f of a where capital F of X is antiderivative of F of X. A and B are called the limits of integration. A is the lower limit and B is the upper limit. Usually, capital F B minus capital F A is abbreviated by writing capital F of X with lower limit A and upper limit B. Definite integrals. Definite integral as the limit of sum. Let f of x be a function of x, continuous on the closed interval a, b. For a natural number n, we define h is equal to b minus a by n. The limit of the sum h into f of a plus f of a plus h plus f of a plus 2h plus up to f of a plus n minus 1 into h. As n approaches infinity, it is called the definite integral of the function f of x over the interval a comma b and is denoted by integral of f of x with lower limit a and upper limit b with respect to dx. Therefore, integral of f of x with lower limit a and upper limit b with respect to x is equal to limit h approaches 0 h into f of a plus f of a plus h plus f of a plus 2h plus so on up to f of a plus n minus 1 into h. 
we have defined the definite integral where the lower limit is less than the upper limit. If a is greater than b, then we define integral of f of x with lower limit a and upper limit b with respect to dx is equal to minus integral of f of x with lower limit b and upper limit a with respect to dx. We also define Integral of f of x with lower limit a and upper limit a with respect to dx is equal to 0. Example Evaluate the definite integral by summation. Integral of x plus 4 with lower limit 0 and upper limit 3 with respect to dx. Solution Let i is equal to Integral of x plus 4 with lower limit 0 and upper limit 3 with respect to dx. Comparing i with integral of f of x with lower limit a and upper limit b with respect to dx, we get a is equal to 0, b is equal to 3, f of x is equal to x plus 4 is equal to 3 minus 0 by m is equal to 3 by n. n belongs to natural number. Therefore, i is equal to limit h approaches 0 h into f of a plus f of a plus h plus f of a plus 2 h plus so on up to f of a plus n minus 1 into h is equal to limit h approaches 0 h into f of 0 plus f of h plus f of 2 h plus so on up to f of n minus 1 into h is equal to limit h approaches 0 h into 0 plus 4 plus h plus 4 plus 2 h plus 4 plus so on up to n minus 1 into h plus 4 is equal to limit h approaches 0 h into h into 1 plus 2 plus so on up to n minus 1 plus 4 n is equal to limit h approaches 0 h of h into n minus 1 into n minus 1 plus 1 upon 2 plus 4m is equal to limit h approaches 0 nh minus h into nh upon 2 plus 4nh is equal to put the value of nh is equal to 3 is equal to limit h approaches 0 3 minus h into 3 by 2 plus 4 into 3 is equal to 3 minus 0 into 3 by 2 plus 12 is equal to 33 by 2. Fundamental Theorem of Calculus Area Function Let y is equal to f of x and the area of the region bounded by the curve is integral of f of x with lower limit a and upper limit b with respect to dx. Let x be a point such that x belongs to a, b. From figure, integral of f of x with lower limit a and upper limit x with respect to dx represents the area of the portion containing lines. We can say it as area function a of x. a of x is equal to integral of f of x with lower limit a and upper limit x with respect to dx. First fundamental theorem of integral calculus. Let f be a continuous function on the closed interval a, b and let a of x be the area function. Then a dash x is equal to f of x for all x belongs to a comma b. 
second fundamental theorem of integral calculus. Let f be a continuous function defined on the closed interval a comma b and capital F be an antiderivative of f. Then, integral of f of x with lower limit a and upper limit b with respect to dx is equal to capital F of x with lower limit a and upper limit b is equal to f of b minus f of a. Example, evaluate the definite integral 1 by x with lower limit 2 and upper limit 4 with respect to dx. Solution, we have integral of 1 by x with lower limit 2 and upper limit 4 with respect to dx. By fundamental theorem of calculus, Integral of 1 by x with lower limit 2 and upper limit 4 with respect to dx is equal to log of mode x with lower limit 2 and upper limit 4 is equal to log of mode 4 minus log of mode 2 is equal to log 4 minus log 2. By using the property of logarithms, we can write it as is equal to log 4 by 2 is equal to log 2. Example Let us understand it with the help of an example. Evaluate Integral of cos x upon 1 plus sin square x with lower limit 0 and upper limit pi by 2 with respect to dx. Solution. Let i is equal to integral of cos x upon 1 plus sin square x with lower limit 0 and upper limit pi by 2 with respect to dx. Let z is equal to g of x is equal to sin x. Differentiate it with respect to x. dz by dx is equal to cos x dz is equal to cos x dx now we will find out the new limits when x is equal to pi by 2 it implies that z is equal to g of pi by 2 is equal to sin pi by 2 is equal to 1 and when x is equal to 0 it implies that z is equal to g of 0 is equal to sin 0 is equal to 0. Therefore, integral of cos x upon 1 plus sin square x with lower limit 0 and upper limit pi by 2 with respect to dx is equal to integral of 1 upon 1 plus z square with lower limit 0 and upper limit 1 with respect to dz is equal to tan inverse z with lower limit 0 and upper limit 1 is equal to tan inverse 1 minus tan inverse 0 is equal to pi by 4 minus 0 is equal to pi by 4. Some properties of definite integrals. Properties. Integral of f of x with lower limit a and upper limit b with respect to dx is equal to minus integral of f of x with lower limit b and upper limit a with respect to dx, where a is greater than b. Integral of f of x with lower limit a and upper limit b with respect to dx is equal to integral of f of x with lower limit a and upper limit c with respect to dx plus integral of f of x with lower limit c and upper limit b with respect to dx 
where a is less than c is less than b. Integral of f of x with lower limit a and upper limit b with respect to dx is equal to integral of f of a plus b minus x with lower limit a and upper limit b with respect to dx. Integral of f of x with lower limit 0 and upper limit 2a with respect to dx is equal to integral of f of x with lower limit 0 and upper limit a with respect to dx plus integral of f of 2a minus x with lower limit 0 and upper limit a with respect to dx. Integral of f of x with lower limit 0 and upper limit a with respect to dx is equal to integral of f of a minus x with lower limit 0 and upper limit a with respect to dx. Integral of f of x with lower limit 0 and upper limit 2a with respect to dx is equal to 2 into integral of f of x with lower limit 0 and upper limit a with respect to dx if f of 2a minus x is equal to f of x. Integral of f of x with lower limit 0 and upper limit 2a with respect to dx is equal to 0. If f of 2a minus x is equal to minus f of x. Integral of f of x with lower limit minus a and upper limit a with respect to dx is equal to 2 into integral of f of x with lower limit 0 and upper limit 2a with respect to dx if f is an even function, that is, if f of minus x is equal to f of x. Integral of f of x with lower limit minus a and upper limit a with respect to dx is equal to 0. If f is an odd function, that is, if f of minus x is equal to minus f of x. Did you know? Sir Isaac Newton developed the calculus independently. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. If the differential coefficient of capital F of X is F of X, that is, d by dx of capital F of x is equal to f of x. Then we say that the antiderivative or integral of f of x is capital F of x, written as integral of f with respect to x is capital F of x. There are three methods of integration. 1. Integration by substitution. 2. Integration using partial fraction. 3. Integration by parts. In integration by substitution, we change the independent variable to another variable. When the integrand is a trigonometric function, we transform the given function into standard integrals or their algebraic sum by using trigonometric formulae. Integrals of the type px by qx can be integrated by resolving the integrand into partial fractions provided qx not equals to zero. If u and v are two functions of x, then integral of the product of two functions is equal to first function into integral of second minus integral of differential of first into integral of the second function. Let capital F of x be any antiderivative of f of x. Then, for any two values of the independent variable x, say a and b, the difference capital F of b minus
capital F of A is called the definite integral of F of X from A to B and is denoted by integral of function F of X with lower limit A and upper limit B with respect to DX. Thus, integral of function f of x with lower limit a and upper limit b with respect to dx is equal to capital F of b minus capital F of a. Definite integral of the function fx over the interval a comma b as limit of sum is integral of f of x with lower limit a and upper limit b with respect to dx is equal to Limit h approaches 0 h into f of a plus f of a plus h plus f of a plus 2 h plus up to f of a plus n minus 1 into h where h is equal to b minus a by n. Fundamental theorem of integral calculus Integral of f of x with lower limit a and upper limit b with respect to dx is equal to capital F of x with lower limit a and upper limit b is equal to f of b minus f of a.